Hi Capricorn, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun and today I'm going to do your love reading, darling. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, Capricorn, okay? Any information that you need will be in the description box. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's run. <clears throat> Angels, what information do you have for Capricorn and their lovers? Some of you have embarked on a new adventure or you just feel as though this is it, right? This is the one. Either you or this other person. I'm saying that um, there may be, for those of you who have been in a relationship for a while, you're recapturing the romance. You're finding a way to, you found the spark in it. There is a huge spiritual connection between the two of you. You have some of the same beliefs overall, traditionally, or what have you. And you're going to, it feels like there's some conversations that are going to be had or have been had. <clears throat> to express where you are and where you want to go with this person. Yeah. You may be getting to know them even more so than you first thought. As you know, I feel as though you never really know people. People growing and changing all the time. There are so many ways of looking at this relationship. So many things um, that could possibly um, come to fruition between the two of you. Some of you are really taking a chance on this. Um, I'm seeing here where there may be some financial issues that may play a huge part in this. You may even have met this person at work. Yeah. Some of you may work with this person. If you don't work with them, it, it feels like there are some financial issues that are tr um, going on that kind of keep you from really getting to know one another. You may be putting in more than... Um, the other person or they are putting in more than you and they there's a strong feeling of not um having things uh work out fairly when i say that it really feels as though one person may be giving more than the other and feeling resentful or just totally in a space of you really got to get to know this person more or they have to get to know you better to really see things for what they are. Because there's a lot of passion between the two of you. A whole, whole lot of passion. It feels like you're willing to take this risk. You're kind of scared, but you're very ambitious. Um, either you or the other person. Someone is very ambitious about this. I'm even seeing some fantasizing here. But overall, if there are any red flags in this, let's see. What are the red flags between Capricorn and their lover? There, this person uh, that you are dealing with, Capricorn, whether it be a fire sign, another earth sign, or an air sign, they give you a lot to think about if it's not you taking on this energy, this boss-like energy. This is boss energy. When I say boss, this is someone who um, you need to play, you either play um, your position in my life or we're not doing it, right? Some of you may be in a space of, you know, having so much to do and so many obligations that you don't even want to take a risk with anyone new or move this forward, even though there's, um, this may be a friends with benefit issue here. But overall, someone may be putting their family um, ahead of the relationship, either you or this other person. So let's see. What are Capricorn's feelings for that lover? Yeah, you just need to take a break. It feels like many of you are really walking into the door spirit. You may have lost someone recently. Whew, whether it be a person, an animal, I don't know. Goodness, I don't know what baby breaths have to do with it, those little, those flowers, the baby breath, but that is your signal. All right, moving forward. So you may have taken a, a, a break from someone and really trying to focus on your finances. You're very optimistic about this person and hoping um, to move forward with them, but you're unsure. It's like you are really mulling over what you've been through with them, where you where things are. You're willing to give this another chance here, but it feels as though... 
you want to take a realistic approach with this person. You may be very attracted to them physically, but you're trying to figure out what, what more is there. You're going to come out of a space of uh, feeling as though... Because um, it may have been you who was fantasizing about this person a lot. But you're going to come into a space of really um, standing on your own to really seeing things for what they are. And you have a decision to make here, Capricorn. You don't know which way to go with this. You know that the, the connection between you and this person is very magical. You um, you know, ooh, it came out twice, that this could be a successful relationship. But you are very indecisive because there may be someone new who has tickled your fancy or you will be meeting someone who, yeah, there's a love offer here. There's very strong feelings. I'm seeing here where it may be you who um, is taking a, um, you're moving forward, you're moving toward this person. From a, um, a tolerant level, if that makes sense, like you're, only dealing with them enough for how much you feel like you can tolerate with them, tolerate of them while you try and have things um, move forward for you. But I do see nothing but happiness, bliss. Some of you may um, recently have moved with this person. Y'all may have moved in together, but I do get blended family. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're taking your time here. You may even cut off communication with them because it feels like many of you are, will be healing on a soul level. You have so many options available to you and you don't really want to partake in any because there is a shitstorm brewing about um, some situation. Let's see here. What is this shitstorm? Someone from your past that you may have been taken care of or they were taking care of you and trying to offer some type of reconciliation and you... Let them know that you want to be single. You want to continue to move forward the way that you have. Although you've made a huge investment in this person. Some of you may be married. But it just feels like you want to um, work this out. You really want to work on um, what it is that you can leave behind here. Like legacy. But um, overall, this shitstorm is going to lead you into realizing what it is that you want. You're going to go back to the drawing board with matters of the heart as well. What is this decision for Capricorn? Yeah, you you are in a space of really uh, judging someone who you feel um, you don't know if you want to take that risk with them because you feel as though they may be immature, immature to you. I do see new beginnings here. You may have to decide between um, a water sign, air sign. Water and air is all up in here. You want to, it feels like you may be moving, you're going to make a decision and you're going to go ahead and move um, away from this person, move into something new, but you're unsure because you have to really, yeah, you're going to make an offer. So you will um, go ahead and make a decision because you know the connection between you and this person is magical, but you're not going to let, uh, inform them, let them know how you feel. All right, Capricorn, let's see what their feelings are. What are Capricorn's lovers' feelings about it? They really do have um, romantic feelings for you. They are just taking a break to really come to terms and come to grips with their feminine wisdom here. They feel as though there are some things that need to be revealed that um, that um, will help them make a decision regarding you. Once something is revealed here, what will be revealed? Some of you may not have told this person that uh, you were married or were in a long-term commitment. And it's going to be revealed. It's going to cause some anxiety, some stress, but they're going to take action. It feels as though they will be um, standing in their truth when it comes to you. They may be very guarded. They're very optimistic about where this could possibly go and they want to move forward, but they're unsure of how this, could, how this would work out. There is a new baby here for some of you. I don't know what that is about. But this person here is having some financial issues. Yeah, and they don't know if they want to move forward or not with you or possibly an Aries, a fire sign or what have you. They even, um, a fire sign or an air sign. But they do have two prominent figures in their life that they have to make a decision between as well as trying to get on their feet because they feel as though they want to move forward with you. It's been a long journey um, to get where they are now when it comes to relationships, but they're unsure. All right, I'll go ahead and continue this on the other side. I'll meet you over there. Bye.